Welcome to the DevExpress Learn Now series, quick tutorials to help you get started using DevExpress controls. The indicator row is a region displayed at the left edge of the grid view, which indicates the state of the focused row. In this video, we'll demonstrate how easy it is to customize the indicator row by drawing a string on it. So let's get started. We already have our grid control bound to the sample cars database. First, let's adjust the width of our indicator row. I'll start by running the Grids Designer and selecting the Feature Browser item. Then, under the Visual Elements node, select the Indicator item. On the right, set its Width property to 60, and when we close the designer, you'll see our Row Indicator region is wider. Now I'm going to create a handler for the Grid View's Custom Draw Row Indicator event. This event is raised every time a Row Indicator cell needs to be repainted. First, let's add a reference to the following namespace. Then I'll create a Boolean field that'll specify whether to draw the default indicator glyphs. Back inside the event handler, I add the following code. Here, I check to see if the indicator cell belongs to a data row. For example, if a cell indicator is next to a group row, we won't customize it. And finally, for this video, I want to display car as a car number. And we're done. Let's run the application to see the results. And now you'll see the indicator rows are displaying our car text. Additionally, the glyphs are drawn for each row selected. This is because we didn't set the handled property within the event handler. Therefore, our custom painting is applied in addition to the default painting provided by the grid. I group the HP column, and you'll notice that the row indicators belonging to each group are empty, but our data rows still contain the custom information. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.